Today we are literally going to travel back in time. No, seriously guys, we are actually going to travel back in time in this video. You don't think that's possible? Okay, so you stick around and you'll see. Today I will give you a copy of the very first game engine out there. And you can still make games with this amazing game engine. Okay guys, before we start, uh, I just need you to click on the like button. Comment something down below, say anything. Say, uh, the potatoes or I don't know, no, like you guys come up with something. My job is to show you this game engine and your job is to smack the like button and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed uh, but you should receive notifications uh, about new videos if you click on the bell so click on the bell guys okay very important so we're going to do this man so we're going to do this uh drum roll please now unfortunately my computer is too advanced to run this game engine and it can no longer run 16-bit uh, applications to run this amazing game engine uh, what I'm doing is um, I'm using a virtual box. No, no, not build box. You heard me. Virtual box. Okay, this is free. You can download it from their website. The link is down below. You can get this thing and get a copy of Windows XP. There is also a link down below where you can download the uh, free version of Windows XP. Don't quote me on it, but uh, it should be, it should work fine on a 32-bit system. Okay, I think 16-bit applications run okay on 32-bit systems. I Again, I have no idea. I, I wish I knew. Okay, so we're going to run uh, uh, VirtualBox. And you can see that I have Mac OS. Uh, whenever I need to use a Macintosh computer, I don't actually go and buy a Macintosh computer because they're mother expensive. Apple, they just they just like to overprice their mother so much that you're like, what the f man, like WTF. I'm not about to play $3,000 for a computer. Are you crazy? No. Instead, I just buy like a half decent PC and I can run uh, Macintosh applications, now, especially for Xcode. Okay, if, if you make games for uh, Apple and for and for iOS, for cell phones, iPads, or whatever, uh, you need to have a Mac computer. Okay, you cannot. Okay, I repeat this: you cannot make uh, Apple games on Windows. It is impossible. Well. They have made it impossible, okay? So the, basically, every developer that develops iOS games has to have a Mac computer, uh, which forces a lot of people who want to make games for uh, iOS to actually go and buy a mother um Apple computer. Okay, that's an extra sale for, for Apple. But I f them over really good because I use an emulator. But lately, I haven't been making games for iOS because you have to pay $99 a year uh, to maintain your membership so you can upload games to the uh, uh, to the Apple Store. Now, Google is $25, but that's like a one-time fee. So I kind of like that. You know, I don't have to pay anymore. I did my account and I'm happy with it. All right. So yeah, so there you go. But that's besides the point. Okay. The point is that today we are going to run Windows XP on my computer. And we are going to check out this 16-bit game engine. Uh which is which is now has been released for free remember guys this is the first game engine on the whole planet and today i will show you how to use it uh, by the end of this video you guys are going to be able to make your own 16-bit game a real 16-bit game on your own computer how cool is that okay you probably want to wait until this video is over just have a look at this first and then download yourself a virtual box and windows xp the link is down below so let's just start windows xp just like that on the button and windows xp will magically appear there we go windows xp guys we're traveling back all the way to the year 2000 2001 but we are going to travel even back further once we open our program i know you're wondering which game engine is it so let's go to start and uh, we're gonna go to my documents and i'm gonna go to downloads and here it is so click on it we're going to install it you can see the name click team here on top let's install this the software is actually called click and play all right let's uh, click next next this will install uh, click and play What a cool name that is. And you can see here that they already had a website. So you're saying Click Team made the first game engine ever. And the answer is coming up. So let's exit this. Please enter your name for the registration. My name? Uh, my name? Uh, uh, my name is Sparkman. Sparkleman. 
So there you go, guys. Here is the very first game engine on the market. The very first one. The very first commercial game engine that allowed anybody to be able to create games from their own computer. Before this, you had to be a programmer or you had to, like, have some sort of, like, coding experience to be able to um, uh, develop a game. But, but once Click and Play came into the market, it was all over. This was the beginning of drag and drop. Actually, the company was a <clears throat> actually the company was a Euro Express software combined with Click Team. Now, Euro Express, uh, these people now they create uh, Game Guru and AGK2, and Click Team they they're still Click Team. Now, this originally was released for Windows 3.1, uh, but uh, I was going to install Windows 3.1, but I say fuck that it's hard enough to use it on Windows. XP. I don't even remember what Windows XP looked like. What the f**k, man? I, like, completely forgot what Windows XP looked like. No, seriously, I did. I've been using Windows 7 for too long. So we're gonna play some demos made with uh, Click and Play. So let's um, try our first demo. This is called Gracilis. Gracilis. Gra Gracilis 5. Where the f is number 4 and number 1? Like, I don't know. Okay, it says here that you had to press Shift. To start the game. Okay, so how do I shoot? Where the shoot button? I guess is shift. Shift is the shoot button. I'm not hearing any sound. And maybe I had to disable this from uh, stereo mix here. What was on the go? <clears throat> I don't know what happened that time. I actually had to restart uh, Windows. Not Windows, but the virtual Windows. So let's go back to uh, click and play. And let's try the game this time. Oh, now I can hear it. Listen to the music. A journey into the unknown. Silly's graph and destroy whatever. All right, let's just try this so I can move. Oh, let me move the mouse out of the way. You can shoot. Oh, crap. Crap, crap. Got to shoot this stuff. Oh, yeah, I like the music. Okay, so that's enough of that. Uh, let's try the next demo. The next demo is called uh, Hungry Hedgehogs. Okay, uh, this is some sort of math game. This is way, way before Baldi's. I'm gonna tell you one thing, these hedgehogs are just as creepy. You'll see why. Okay, uh, 4 plus 6. Uh, that should be 10. Okay, there is no 10 here, I guess you have to click on the 1. And the 0, where's the 0? Where is the 0? 3 plus 5, okay, so that should be 8. Click the OK button. And you get to advance. 4 plus 4. That should be 8. Wow, you're like a genius. So, uh, you cannot possibly select this number here. If you click on this, like, you have to click on it twice or what? Uh, I forgot to read the authors. That's a 1994, uh, Francois Lyonnais. Next game. A card game. I don't like card games, so uh, we're going to skip that one. Or maybe just have a look. Oh, okay, I get it. Click on a card. Okay. Click on a matching card. No. Oh, we got one. Ah, oh, okay, screw this. <laughs> Next is, uh, Music Madness. Music Madness. Remember, guys, this was in 1996. It's a piano app. Uh, what's cool about this is that uh, you can actually record. Just watch this. Okay, playback. Wow, that was cool. Uh, try clear song and let's try twinkle, twinkle, little star. Next game. Okay, so racing game, screw racing games. Uh, try reversey. What's reversey? Oh god, I don't like this kind of game. Uh, how do you exit this? Alt F4, delete that. Here is a classic. This is Romeo. You can still find this in uh, Click Team Fusion uh, 2.5. Press Shift to start. Pie Devil has kidnapped the princess. We we'll have to do something about it. Okay, you have to climb this and you have to get the key. No, you can't go in there. You need the key. I have to get the key first. Hey, hey, oh, son of a gun, he got me that time. I guess you play Fortnite. Seems like he would be good at it. Uh, by the way, I'm playing Fortnite again tonight. If you uh, want to uh, join me later, you can do so. I got the key. Going up there. 
And we have rescued the princess. The princess was kidnapped again. Okay, so we have to rescue her again, but uh, that shit. let's just close this. Okay, here we go. What is this here? How do we start this? Okay. Your turn what? That, what, what, what's going on? Do you have to follow the pictures? Game over, man. Game over, man. Uh... Game over, Okay. That was kinda stupid. Try the slot machine. Alright, let's throw a quarter there. Press the start button. And what's going on here? Not bad. Except for I don't like this kind of games. The next one is Toyland. Okay, use the arrows to move. And you can press... Uh, how do you start? Oh, there's the ball. This is... Wow, that was kind of creepy. Clowns are never a good idea for your games, guys. Unless that you are planning to create a, a horror game. Early version of Choco, um, Choco Break. Now what? What happens now? I don't know what happened now. Okay, whatever. F*** it. Just... Close that. Okay, you can modify a game based on one of the games that you already seen here, or we can create a new game. We are more interested in creating our own game. Okay, so let's create a game. This is what it looks like. Let me maximize this here. And uh, maximize this tool. Okay, guys, we are officially in the first game engine ever. We are back in 1996. This is what you would have seen if you uh, were back then, okay? Could you have made a game in the past? Today, we'll find out. <clears throat> okay, so here's our frame editor. And uh, let's go to... Um, let's go in here. To the level editor. Here's the level editor. And uh, we have a few things here. We got backgrounds. Uh, we have uh, more backgrounds. Well, let's try this sun here. Okay. And um, we're going to place a couple of these moons. You can see that it's a completely drag and drop. This was super revolutionary by for its time. Now, how do how do you run this? How do you what is the run button? There should be a play button here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Play level as finished. And uh, you can see that uh, nothing happens. Okay, so let's um, close this here and let's right click on this and let's select movement. Okay, we're going to select the uh, eight direction. Select the speed, uh, not too fast, somewhere around there. Try movement. You can uh, move the arrows. Very nice. And click OK. Now let's run the game. You can see that I can move the sun, which is kind of crazy. I don't think anybody can move the sun, except for gravity. But that's another story. So let me close this here and um, let me find the event editor where could that be uh event editor all right let's create a collision between um you can see that it's sort of like clicked infusion him and the moon if that happens we want to delete that destroy and let's play the game touch the moon and you can see that um it destroys the other objects just like that. Okay. Uh, say we want to play a sound. I wonder if you had any sounds on this. Play sample. Uh, game pack. Samples. Here we go. Samples. Alarms. Effects. Uh, let's try effects. What do we got here? That's cool. Play it. Perfect. And it works fine. Wow, we're only like a minute into the first game engine ever, and we're already making stuff. How cool is that? Let's go back to the uh, level editor. Let me change this to something else. Movement. Let me change the movement to platform. Set the speed to somewhere around here. I'm going to use a button 2. And let's try movement. I think it needs to jump a little higher. So the gravity needs to be lower. And jump strength a bit higher. Try movement. That works fine. Okay. 
Let's adjust this a little tiny bit more. And let's hit OK. Now, if you run this now, you can see that um, we need ground here, okay? Let me find a background here. How do you insert backgrounds? Okay, so if we click here, we can insert uh, a background. And uh, we are going to create something super simple. Now, this here is your magnifier glass. So you can zoom in so you can see what you're doing. Here's my uh, painting tools. And uh, I'm going to make grass, okay? Just like pixel art grass. 16 bit pixel art grass. This is all the colors available, by the way. So let me uh, click OK. Now I could place a bunch of these, but that's kind of stupid. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to create. Uh, I'm going to clone this as a quick backdrop. Let me delete the original. You can see that it's uh, very similar to uh, Click Team Fusion. You swear it's the same software. All right. Uh, so if you run this now, you can see that the heat goes right through the uh, through the ground. So we need to make this an obstacle. So you right click and select obstacle. Yes. Actually, let me just change that animation there. Okay. Let me just delete that there. Delete that. And I'm going to make my own animation. Let me uh, paint this red. And I'm going to make a ninja. Okay. I need black. This is the character I use for uh, my uh, ninja game. Oh, hotspot. You had to select the hotspot. Uh, no, there's no way to center this. You actually have to um, punch in the coordinates. There we go. Oh, I forgot the uh, action point. Actually, it will be... Alpha. You can just drag it. You can just drag the uh, action point. Uh, just, uh, leave it there. I don't really care about that. Let me delete the original here. Uh, select all and copy. We're gonna go here and uh, we're gonna go paste. Okay, so now we want to flip this uh, horizontally. Uh, horizontally, okay, and I believe that preserves our um hot spot. Okay, that's good. So now, uh, let's run this. There we go. Press the button. You can see that this handles the um, direction of the object automatically. Almost too advanced for this time because not even Game Maker does that right now. Game Maker, you actually have to set the uh, uh, the directions by yourself. It's kind of dumb. I don't know why they can just make it like that. Let me just copy this. Control C, Control V. I'm gonna make a few copies of this. So we can get the uh, the rest of the moons. Uh, let me make, paste another copy. And make this smaller. Now if you make one smaller, the rest also will become smaller. So you actually... Uh, let me just undo that. Uh, there was no undo uh, for Windows 3.1. I forgot that. Okay, so that's that's okay. We can just delete that there. And uh, we are going to create another... Um, a new quick backdrop here. So now this one is his own object. Okay, there we go. This will be up here. And uh, we are going to start down here. Uh, the background, uh, I don't know if you can change the color of the background. I have no idea. I actually have never used this before. Let me see. Can you change the background color? Uh, Let's see, objects, um, let me go to the uh, storyboard editor, and level setup, you can set the size, the title of the level, but you can't change the color, okay, so how do you do it then? So I guess you have to set up a background, um, make a, uh, some sort of like, solid color. We're going to uh, place this back here. And this will make sure that, that that covers the top. Now, this is a bit clumsy because uh, this is supposed to be for Windows 3.1. Okay. Uh, now we're covering this. This needs to go to the back. So send to back. View. Send to back. 
There we go. So now let's let's roll this. Oh yeah, look at this stuff. A true 16-bit game made on your own computer. Look how cool this looks. It almost looks better than uh, the new one. Okay, maybe not, but it looks pretty cool. So that works fine. Um, let's place another object uh, here. Let's find more objects. Let's see what we can find here. Let's try this apple. Okay, here's the apple. If you touch the apple, uh, then you get to go to the next level. Okay, so let's make a new level. Let's go to the uh, storyboard editor. We're going to copy this here. Copy level. And we are going to paste it. Paste it here. So um, let's go to the editor. Change the background color. Edit quick backdrop. Uh, we want this to be maybe like blue or something. We're in the next level now. And everything is a little different here, okay? This is level two. So things are different. Okay, so like this bar is over here. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, just so different. You probably start uh, down here. There we go. That is level two. So let's go to level one again. Uh, edit level. And uh, let's go to, let's see. Uh, uh, to the event editor. Collision between this and the apple. We are going to go to the next level. Next frame. Let's play this. And now we get to go to uh, next level. But that's too easy just to touch the apple. So let's make it so if we collect all the moons, uh, the apple will appear here. Okay, so let me just set the apple uh, somewhere else. I'm going to place the apple up here. Let's go to events. The condition, we're going to compare this to the number of, uh, of moons. If the number of moons is zero, then we're going to set the position of the apple down here, just like that. See if that works. Uh, level editor. Let's uh, run the game. You, the apple is not there, so now you can't go to the next level. You actually have to collect all the moons. There we go. And there is our apple. The moment we all have been waiting for. We are going to save this as an exe file. All right. Let's go file. And we're going to save this as the standalone game. It's a little license agreement here. Uh, you can make games as long as you don't charge for them. Okay. I don't think you can buy this anymore. And uh, good luck if you can find it. But um, I don't know. You probably have to check with um, Francois or Click Team or Euros Eurosoft. Okay, let me just hit OK. So uh, games, we want to save this to, uh, click and play, I guess cl click and play games is fine, we're going to call this a super game, your standalone has been successfully saved, okay, let's, um, you can launch it from the program manager, Windows don't use the program manager anymore, it's just called Explorer now, here it is, a click and play, games, and here is our game, let's play it, let's collect all the, uh, all the moons, And there is the apple. And now we get to go to the next level. And that's how you can create games. Extremely simple. In click and play. Alright guys, smack the like button down below. Alright. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.